purpose of this project is to help improve the quality of health care delivery in Agona Bodo and its surrounding communities. Um, old women, young women, young women, children. Mm. Agona Abodom is a family town located in the Agona West Municipality in the central region of Ghana. The municipality has a total land area of 540 square kilometers and a total population of 160,000. The Abodom people celebrate the popular Akwamba festival in August each year. For those who don't know, the Ultra Club of Accra Laboni, as part of its 10th anniversary, decided to refurbish the Agona Abodom Clinic. The clinic is the only health post in the township, serving over 2,000 persons apart from the Shredo Government Hospital, which is 15 kilometers away from the town. In four-member delegation from the club led by Vice President Nicolas A.J., who happens to be a native of the town, paid a visit and had meetings with the clinic officials to discuss the project. After an hour and 18 minute drive from Accra, we arrived in Nagona Bodom and we were met by Miss Benedicta Ahiano, the physician assistant at the clinic. Vice President Nicholas told her why the club was on the mission. The cost of the project is estimated to be 10,000 Ghana cities. The club is painting the whole clinic, providing mosquito nets, hospital beds, and many more. And club president Casey Amese indicated how the Richard Club of Accra Laboni is mobilizing funds for the project. The cost of the project is 10,000 Ghana cities. We organized the ball in June this year to raise some funds to support the project. We are rehabilitating the providing them with some hospital equipment as well to document the health care delivery in the area. The road track for the Calabria is committed to this According to Ms. Ahiano, the clinic is expanding. It has money to build a new clinic block, which wasn't there when the club first made a visit to the place in 2012. She stated that the clinic receives about 25 persons a day for medical treatment. Statistics from the government sources say malaria still top the list of diseases reported at all health centers in the Agona West Municipality. A total of 26,072 cases were reported within the Agona District in 2004 as compared to 22,302 cases in 2003. Why the project? President Casey explains. The purpose of this project is to help improve the quality of health care delivery in Agona Bodo and its surrounding communities. The ROCA team was taken around the clinic, but first we had a little chat with one of the nurses at the clinic called Iris Nyansen. I am Iris Nyansen, mm -hmm. a health extension worker. worker. Uh, so how long have you been here? Two and a half. Two and a half years. So what sort of people come here to this? Old men, old women, young men, young women, children. Mm. So what sort of cases do you bring? With malaria, with gastritis, diarrhea, all sorts of malaria. Mm. Troublesome, but mm. we always cope with their behavior. Ah. Donada Musa, a 112-year-old patient who has come to the hospital for treatment, caught our attention. He is suffering from pain on his two legs. Mm. Mm. 
Never know by and day. And any first time I buy. Do bow, we all day. I I know bad day. Mm. 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 Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Of the clinic we visited the labor ward injection room family planning office maternity unit and we had interactions with some of the clinic officers with the support of protractors rotarians guests and and the member of parliament for the area, Roka December 7th this year commissioned the Agona Abodong Clinic project. You may be a short man, you may be a tall man, 
Christian, religion is no barrier, come and join us. You can be a Christian, you can be a Muslim, religion is no barrier, come and join us. You can be a fat man, you can be a slim man, size is no barrier, come and join us. At this point, we would like to ask about the uh, when we are going to the uh, very difficult at the health sector to have some of the basic equipment that we need to do our work. Uh, say, in fact, in the bottom here, the bottom of the say, I think to Nyaman, to Nyaman, to Nyaman, to Nyaman, to Nyaman, For your information, we have what we call internally generated fund. And it's a wab, 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 because we don't have the basic things. The patients are not coming the way we want them to come for us to generate the revenue. So now that we have protract and protest this equipment, we are sure that it's going to boost our coverage. We'll get more clients. That will mean getting more money and we'll be able to improve the services here. I so today the Ultra Club of Ankara Boni donated some hospital equipment. They also renovated and uh, painted the whole building. What does it mean for you? Well, uh, we will say that uh, what Ultra has done is very, very significant. One, in the sense that it has improved the situation at the clinic for now. It has changed the whole environment, making it more user-friendly. And again, the equipment that you brought will go a long way to help in the treatment and management of patients who come to the clinic, especially those that need to be detained and there are no beds for them to rely on. This is going a long way to help solve that problem, which has been very nagging in this place for some time now. And uh, apart from that too, you know, Abodom is a, a fast-growing area. There are a lot of 
people in the town, and they, uh, most of them, I would say, are poor, and they need to be helped mm. while we are there. Mm. Mm. So these facilities are going to help in the health delivery system. And so today, we finally inaugurated the 10,000 Ghana City project you have for the Agona Abodong Clinic. Please tell us more, your impressions today so far. Yes, it's been great. Uh, the community has received us well. Uh, the pet and innovation uh, work we've done, we believe, will go a long way to impact the uh, lives of the people of this community. Uh, as they have said, they still need more, so we are seeking for sponsorship from our other donors so we can help them to give a better health care to the people of the Mm, I heard they were talking about laboratory equipment. How soon would the club go as far as this is concerned to get them one? Uh, yes, uh, the financial constraints have been the, the biggest challenge so far. Uh, so like I said earlier, we are still calling on other uh, donors or other partners in this business to come to their aid. Laboratory equipment. Uh, we have done our widow's by that uh, our widow's by we believe that someone else's effort will go in a long way to help. So we'll talk to other clubs to see how best they can also come forward and support on this. Mm. Okay, so 10,000 Ghana, so that's huge. What informed the club to do this project? Um, we are actually informed that uh, as part of our 10 years anniversary, we wanted to uh, do something that is different from what we usually do, like donating books and all that. So we said, why don't we do something that will leave a lasting impact on the lives of the people of the community? That is the main reason why we decided to leave the Accra area, we decided to go somewhere else, and then our platform was uh, the biggest one to X Origin for supporting us financially. And then a couple of my members, like. Uh, uh, my PR uh, and my Bobo uh, has done a very good job at making this a successful event. So, thanks to everybody and to all the retractors who attended today. Thank you. Mm, thank you. The Rotary, thanks to President Michael J, uh, President of the Rotary Club of Adenta. I came here to have this huge project in the Rotary Club of Akalaboni. I want to say a very big congratulations to them. They've, they've done wonderful donating these equipments to the Abuna Wadom um, Health Center, okay, right? Okay. Yes, uh, I think it was a fantastic show. And um, I, just, I just want to encourage them to do more of such. This is really huge. I know it's very capital intensive, but they, they managed to pull it off. Thumbs up to them. I, I, think, I, think, I think they've done marvelous. Um, I'm Eric Bate. Uh, the district service media director. Um, let me use this opportunity to say a very big thank you to the director of the Club for pulling off this wonderful project. Uh, a very expensive project it is. Um, and I'm, yeah, very, very exclusive. And I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm so, so, so grateful to the members of the Vacation 